Europe here as well as an export market now for in, in Peru's case. I, I would like to ask a general question. What is this increased Chinese involvement or influence in, in Latin America combined with uh, what we just heard, the implications of the, the war, current war in Ukraine? What does this all mean to Europe? Um, I would like to go with you, Daniel, first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was talking about ch- uh, Chinese pragmatism in the region. And uh, Johannes mentioned the, the voting, in, in the UN in several votings, against or, or for Russia. And it's, it's quite funny how the, ch- the voting changed. First, Bolsonaro had a uh, position, now Argentina also, since yesterday they started calling it a war. But in Brazilian case, the, the U.S. and Biden's administrations were full enough to lose Brazil, just precisely because of ideology. While China's pragmatism in, in the region is working. Now, for example, Brazil is sticking together with BRICS, not condemning uh, Russia, trying to stay in the middle, even India trying to find ways to, to keep on trading without dollars. So now the position in the region is mostly against the but now what, what does China has to say in this? All Latin American countries, for what I see, they don't want to have bad relations with China. So in this case, it's, it's condemning Russia, okay. But we just keep wondering, what is China going to say? What does China have to say in this? A lot of experts say China uh, has an interest in undermining the liberal world order. Yes, but up to a certain point. Uh, if the crisis, if the economic crisis gets too hard, China is going to intervene. Well... Until now, they have, have only said that like, they're in the middle, but a lot of government officials are repeating Russia's position, that it's NATO's fault, and now they have the support of BRICS. So uh, for the region, given this economic crisis and agricultural crisis that is going to come, as Johannes said, I think China is going to be a big player. If the US or the European Union don't have a more active position, like there is going to be a lack of wheat, a lack of oil, uh, impacting hardly the poor in South America. And what I can see is China coming to the rescue, just like with the vaccines. 